extremely rare discovery in Egypt that no one knows about. Have you ever heard of the Baca Pyramid? This unfinished masterpiece is among the greatest mysteries Egypt has to offer. What's the background of this architectural piece? What purpose should it have served? Above all, why was this huge construction suddenly abandoned? Today, in this video, we'll be looking for the answers to these questions. Stick around till the end of the video to learn one of the rare facts about this deserted structure. The ancient Egyptian civilization was one of the best record-keeping cultures in the history of mankind. When it talks about their greatest architectural achievements, we are left wonderstruck by a total lack of records. With its spectacular buildings and splendid culture, that fascinating civilization still intrigues us. These magnificent buildings have attracted numerous tourists from all over the world. Archaeologists are continuously working to uncover these extremely rare secrets. The Pyramid of Baca is a colossal, unfinished pyramid located within the Zayat el Arian in Egypt. The original builders are not certainly known. This pyramid can be found approximately 8 kilometers southwest of Giza in the northern part of Zayat al Arian. What is the history of the pyramid? The initial reports of the monument were made between 1842 and 1846 by the German Egyptologist Karl Richard Lepsius. He explored the main shaft and the surroundings and marked the pyramid in his pioneer list as Pyramid 13. The pyramid shaft was examined in more detailed manner in 1904 and 05 by the Italian archaeologist Alessandro Barsanti. Gaston Maspero, director general of the Supreme Council of Antiquities of Egypt at the time, visited Barsanti's revealings and was impressed by the huge size of the structure. Barsanti continued to do further work at the site from 1911 to 1912, but the First World War halted all discoveries and Barsanti died in 1917. As a result, nothing was done on the site until 1954 when a set was needed for the famous film Land of the Pharaohs. The landscape of that pyramid, Zayat al Arian, was considered the perfect location and the Baca Pyramid was selected as the backdrop for the film. After that, the shaft and the area around it were cleaned of the sand and trash that had been there since Barsanti's discoveries. The Pyramid's Superstructure Almost nothing is known about the pyramid's superstructure as only the square base made of natural subsoil was completed. It measures 200 by 200 meters and shows evidence of the surrounding plinth, which is preserved by the limestone covering. The exact planned slope and size cannot be assessed because no capping blocks or pyramids were ever discovered, and the pyramid bases were always bigger than the pyramid's base itself. So, it can't be said that the pyramid could have been planned to be much smaller than it was. Monumental Substructure A lofty staircase goes down to the chamber. Halfway through its length, the staircase has a horizontal surface of unknown purpose. The shaft has smooth walls, but they were never filled with stone, and the chamber was never completed. Only the floor was finished and covered with huge granite blocks. An unusual vat was discovered near the west end of the chamber. It is oval and was set into one of the stone blocks forming the floor of the chamber. The vat appears to have been brought into the chamber sometime during the construction of the foundations as it is too large to fit through the passage going into the chamber. An oval lid was discovered in situ indicating that the vat was found sealed. Is there a hint to dynasty history? Historians and Egyptologists continue to discuss the dating of the pyramid at Baca. They point to several pieces of graffiti in red and black paint that were found in the chamber and on the descending staircase. Alessandro Barsanti recorded approximately 67 inscriptions. They write down the names of the different work crews and the planned names of the pyramid complex. King's Name the major problem is the correct reading of the cartouche name, which is found within six ink engravings. The first sign is illegible, and the lower and therefore second hieroglyphic character is certainly a Ka symbol. Unfortunately, the digger, Alessandro Barsanti, did not make any facsimiles of the characters and instead made rather slippery hand drawings so that the first hieroglyph remains indistinguishable. Consequently, there are many alternative readings of the cartouche name. Some even suggest the depiction of a giraffe, an animal that was considered wise and shamanistic. Instead, George Reisner and Jürgen von Beckerath believe the pyramid was planned as a tomb 
for a proven fourth dynasty prince named Baca, son of a king named Dejedefri. Baca's name is written in Ram hieroglyphs along with a Ka symbol. Bekarath posits that Baca changed his name to Baca Re, Sol and Ka of Ra, when he took over the throne, but then passed away unexpectedly, leaving nothing more than an unfinished tomb. Thus, Reisner and Bekarath read the mysterious name in Zawat Yel Arion as Baca. His Ka is his Ba. Aidan Dodson, instead, sees a seated Seth beast and thus reads the name as Seth Ka. Seth is my Ka. They believe that the pyramid was planned as the tomb of Prince Setko, another son of Dejedefri. Dodson suspects the reading Baca and wonders why the title of the cartouche in Zaryat al Arian contains no solar indication when it was supposed to represent the sun god, but is there any evidence to place it in the fourth dynasty? Whichever is the true theory, it would place the Baca pyramid firmly in the fourth dynasty. In support of this data, Reisner, Dodson, and von Beckerath point to the architectural aspects of the burial shaft. Specifically, the use of hewn granite blocks for bases of such sizes occurs at the earliest during the reign of Khufu. In addition, according to Barsanti, pieces of a similar oval sarcophagus were found in the ruins of Dejedefri's pyramid. Also, Reisner, Dodson, and von Beckerath say that the Dejedefri dedicatory tablet which Barsanti is said to have found near the steps of the pyramid at Baca is proof that the date is from the 4th dynasty. Furthermore, Eberhard Otto and W. Helk point out that the closeness in design between the pyramid of Baca and the pyramid of Dejedefri might be striking, but the design of Dejedefri's pyramid was in any case atypical for the 4th dynasty, thus using Dejedefri's tomb design as an argument for comparison can't confirm the 4th dynasty dates. Ultimately, Egyptologists doubt Barsanti's assessment of the size of the pyramid base. They think the pyramid was not as big as Barsanti and Lepsius estimated. The experts have to familiarize themselves with the architectural style used. However, experts are divided as to whether construction began in the 4th or 3rd dynasty. As already mentioned, the site has not been scientifically examined for many decades. But why did the Egyptian military decide to set up an exclusion zone here of all places? And why did the satellite give the impression that the burial site had been systematically filled up over time? Although some experts suggest that there are many undiscovered cavities, it is currently unclear when and if the site will be the target of excavation ever again. All right, friends, now it's your turn. What do you think of the unfinished Baca Pyramid? Do you think that the real background of the building is deliberately kept secret? Write your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss a video.